What's up guys? Welcome back to Blue Line Archery. Just wanted to do a, another product review uh, today. We're here in the archery shop and today I wanted to talk about optics. And what optics? Track optics. Um, so for you, you, those that don't know track optics, it's a newer company. Uh, they've been out for a few years now. The founders, and I'll go into uh, the binos, the founders of Track Optics worked for Nikon for many years. It's two Johns that uh, co-founded this uh, this company. They worked in the outdoor industry for over 20 years with Nikon, and uh, and if you go on the website, they talk about you know what 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 their journey is about. But they really didn't like you know how Nikon wasn't supporting the uh, hunting world and archery and and hunting in general. So they started Track Optics. Track Optics makes rifle scopes, spotting scopes, binoculars, um, super high quality glass. Now, the, the optics world is very broad, right? Um, and everybody has, you know, oh, I, I, I use this optics, whatever. But the difference between tracked and other uh, optics, what's going to set them apart, is not only that they're, uh, they're clear, their UHD glass is super clear, but they're direct to consumer meaning they're not using a third party in there. So you, you can't find track at um, <clears throat> Cabela's, you can't find track at Bass Pro. And for that, they're going to give you the discount of cutting out <clears throat> that third party or big box store, whatever it may be. So they're direct to consumer. So you can only buy on their website, but for that, you get a UHD quality binocular for under 800 bucks. I mean, these are 842 UHDs. Um, they were 7, 743. So when you're talking about any UHD glass, uh, if you're talking Vortex, uh, you're talking like a Leupold has their HD and some have ED, HD, UHD. It's really the coatings are on there. They're all gonna be a high definition glass, right? Super clear. There's GPO, but they're gonna be upwards of $1,000 and that that extra price that you're paying is really for the markup that that business needs to market up to make their their end of the profit. Because in optics, there is a big profit margin, um, like in anything else. But going direct to consumer cuts that out. So they are really giving you that uh, that savings gets passed on to you. You for that, like I said, you have to just purchase all uh, you know off their sites. If you've gone to any outdoor show, they're at, you know track is always there, so they're great. So I just wanted to talk about uh, these binos, uh, just so you know. Uh, I've had every optic out there. I had before this, I you know was a Nikon user in the in the like early 2000s. Had like the Monarchs, which was their like HD glass, which they still make. And then I went to Leupold, had their uh, high-end, uh, I believe they were the B4 McKenzie's at the time, uh, can't really remember, I had GPO's, and uh, had Vortex, had Vortex Razor HD UHD's, which is their highest um, binocular series, and I had uh, 12 by 50s at the time, UHD, those things were about, you know, $1,500 great glass the difference is great glass i believe clear and i spent half the money now yes i went 1250 to 842s just because of what i was using them for i use them more for hunting whitetail hunting in the woods and i use them for 3d archery now i love the 1250s which i could have got the same size in the um in the track but i wanted to step down a little bit the vortex and 1250s were a little cumbersome walking you know through courses with them and i didn't really need all that you know optic you know an 842 or 1042 is perfect i went 842 which is perfect compact size for me and that's why i stepped to it but when i first looked at through these at a at a show as an asa event couldn't believe how clear they were uh, they were light. I liked the way they looked. They felt good. Uh, I liked the way the cups moved. I'd always had like a gripe with the Vortex cups. You know, um, great warranty on Vortex. Not talking bad about them, but couldn't believe the how clear the optics were. And then I got told the price. I was like, no way. And true. I mean, I these are UHD glass 842s. You would be spending 1300 any anywhere else. 743. 
uh, for these. All right. So now let me show you guys what you get. So you get this nice little track box. Open it up. If I can open it up. Alright, you get a nice little insert, and in this insert, it uh, tells you, uh, they're thanking you, they give you uh, some reviews, you know, their Facebook, they give you some um, some links to their social media on how they have some how-tos. They also, in this little pouch, have a nice, uh, you know, cloth to clean your, your glass, so that's nice right in this little black pouch in here, and it tells you a little bit about the, the company. And here are the track Toric UHD 8x42s. So I'm going to show you what you get inside. You get your binoculars. Okay. You get your lens uh, caps here to protect your lens cups. And you also get the optic side uh, lens caps. And you also get a very comfy... Uh, shoulder harness or, or neck harness in this as well that says track optics These are again, these are their Toric. The Toric is their their top of the line uh, UHD glass their cups are really really nice in how they engage and lock in which I like uh, Like I said, I've had issues with other companies their their cups after a while just you know taking them up and down they get kind of flimsy and 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 I've had them break a lot especially with my uh with my vortex but these are nice compact uh full magnesium body covered by a rubber coating so if you were to drop these you would be uh completely fine really nice um eye relief here uh, you know it's they're completely obviously waterproof okay uh what i also like is their diopter here is lock is you can lock it in so when you set your diopter you push down and it's locked in place. You don't have to worry about that diopter moving on you, all right, and doing all that. Uh, I have, doesn't not come with these little rings. I put them on because I use them for my shoulder, you know, my harness for for um, for 3D. But super quality glass in these. They're 842s. I like them. If you could see, they're, they're just the perfect size for me when I'm glassing. Um, man, I have a window right in front of me. I, they're so clear. They use a shot technology glass, um, super high end. Like I said, every company has their form of whatever coating they use, but the UHD is like the ultra high definition. I mean, it's the clearest of the clear, and by far you could see these. Um, the amount of light that these pick up, especially for being 842s, is super impressive. That's what got me uh, with them. You know, I, when I did day, I looked at them, they were cloudy. It was getting late in the day. The booth was almost closing, and I, and I checked them out, and I couldn't believe how crisp and clear my picture was with these. And I've been using them uh, ever since. Um, love them, like I said, and you cannot beat the price. I mean, half of the money of my Vortex. And uh, what's great is that they... Um, Support the the podcast, and they're doing a discount code Blue Line Five, so it gets you five percent off of these on their website. So great, you know, uh, discount there. So you're talking about, you know, they're gonna be right just about under seven hundred bucks or seven hundred bucks for a an amazing UHD glass um, binoculars. So uh, what else? Um, <laughs> Man, it, they're just full. They're just really nice. I'm gonna weigh them for you to, to to let you guys know what these actually weigh. Real, you know, real, real, uh, real stats. That's also why I got the 842s. Like I said, I was looking. I got a scale here. I was looking for something a little lighter. It just wasn't, you know, cumbersome on my neck. Um, all right, let's weigh these out. They have the rings on them, but that's okay. That's not gonna add too much weight. Completely with eye cups and everything. We're at 27 ounces, okay? 27 ounces with my rings here on the side, um, protective eye cups. Uh, that's how I would keep them on me. I don't really keep the, um, the eye relief cups on because they fall off and all that. Uh, if I'm using a um, uh, hunting, uh, hunting harness, which I do, 
uh, I have an FHF gear and these go in here in the middle. I do put it on there, but when I'm walking through the woods, 3D shooting, I kind of have them just like this, hanging off to the side on my shoulder harness. And what I love about them is I hardly feel they're on me. They're small, they're tiny. The 1042s are not much bigger. I just happened to get the 842s. Uh, you know, like I said, I was looking for most compact out there and, uh, and that's why I went with them. Uh, I wrench on these things all day long, bam, 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 you know, all day long. I'm glassing, glassing, I'm not glassing. And I love the way they've held up. Um, no issues with them. That's huge. Their warranty is, is great. Any issues tracked will, uh, will take care of it, but I haven't had any. And, uh, yeah, it, it's a super ultra high def. Binocular, their rifle scopes are insane. Um, you know, their spotting scope is insane. Uh, they're a great company. Both the owners are named John and uh, great guys. They have tons of experience uh, in optics and the outdoor industry. Both, you know, huge hunters, outdoor guys. But more so, they've had, you know, experience of, you know, 25 plus years, each of them, in, in Nikon. They both left together because they just didn't believe in that. And they made this company to give to to make optics direct to consumer and kind of you know believe in that that savings should be given to the the customer right and 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 I support that so check them out if you're in the market for some binos rifle scopes spotting scopes uh, anything like that check them out uh, even if you're thinking of upgrading getting a a, a second pair right you would be in this price point for a second pair or or a backup. And you were thinking, oh well, I have my U, you know, my UHE, whether they're a Razor or, 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 or whatever, uh, you know. Now, when it comes to optics, uh, there, like I said, there's, there's many, many companies. I might be missing some out there, you know. Uh, there's Mavens, um, right? Mavens, another big uh, company. Uh, Mavens, another direct-to-consumer company. But I'll tell you what, I looked to through the B, I think it was the B ones or B twos, and, and these, and. That's why I got a pair of track to my hands. Uh, amazing, amazing. Can't say anything uh, about them. I have dropped these already, uh, and boom, they, they took a hit. Um, dropped them while I was uh, 3D, and I had, in, uh, I had my harness like here, you know, and I wasn't paying attention. Dropped them and uh, took that hit right to the side. No, no issues, nothing like that. Uh, a lot of videos talk about optics, but excuse me, they don't kind of explain to you how to set up the diopter so i'm going to do that real quick for you because that's important for for your glass so so yeah so i want to talk about setting your um your diopter and your interpupillary distance right the diopter into interpupillary uh, pupil pupil distance uh which a lot of people talk about glass but they don't really show you how to do that okay so let this is how you do it uh, so first and foremost, you want to bring your diopter setting, right? The diopter wheel, which is right here, and put it to the zero setting, okay? Have it on the zero setting. Once you have that, if you wear eyeglasses, if you wear glasses, keep the cups down. If you don't, bring them up as you would, you know, normally, okay? And what you're going to do is open both um, cups, and what you want to do is have your barrel set, meaning you want to have a perfect, you know, feel the vision through here where you're looking and you see just one circle, right? You want to set your, your barrel length, how far it is between your eye. Once you have that completely set and completely perfect, great. You're going to now shut your right side or your diopter side, okay? Shut that. With both eyes open, you're going to now look, you're going to keep both eyes open and you want to focus on something that's 20 or 30 yards away with a lot of detail and a lot of intricate detail where you could really focus in with your center focus wheel. Um, so I'm looking at my mailbox. It's about 30 yards away. It's like a farm mailbox. So it's got, you know, a little detail. So remember, keep both eyes open. And when using just your center focus wheel, you want to get that ultra super crisp. Okay? All right, perfect. Once you have that ultra super crisp, you're going to close your left and open your diopter side. You're gonna do the same thing, only this time you're gonna use your diopter wheel to get that ultra focused in, okay? So both eyes open, got my diopter wheel, Chain, moving that around, got it ultra super crisp. When you find that setting, you lock it down, 
you're good to go. You've set your diopter and um, interpupillary distance, right? So it's um, it's perfect. Now you're you're ready to go. You're gonna be super super in focus, super super crisp. That's how you set that up. Super easy. I just know a lot of videos talk about the uh, binoculars and how to set that up. And I've seen guys who didn't even know about the adapter where they're like, oh, I've never set that up. I'm like, wait, let me set this up. And they're like, oh man, I can see, you know, it's my my uh, my image is so much clearer. Hey, get the full potential of uh, of your binoculars. So that's it, guys. Again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. Uh, I will write that discount code in there. Remember, it's Blue Line 5 on Track Optics uh, website when you get a pair of uh, binoculars or wh whatever you're getting. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for like and support. Thanks for continuing to, to like the, uh, the YouTube videos. And thank you for your support and your questions, your comments. Uh, continue to tune in to Blue Line Archery Podcast. We got these cool hats, Richardson's. We also have them in a black with the blue line, Heather Gray with the navy blue. Uh, they are $30 shipped to your door. Some of the proceeds I'm doing to uh, families of um, that have had, uh, you know, an uh, officer down, you know, in the line of duty uh, to help them out. So some proceeds go to that. So please support. Uh, check out the Blue Line Archery Podcast. It's on Spotify, all other uh, podcast platforms. We have tons of pros on there with uh with tons of information like i said and we're gonna have the one of the owners from track optics come on john and talk about you know the company why they started it uh you know about the glass technical you know a lot more technical that i could get into and all that so again continue to like and subscribe thanks for everything and we will see you on the next one peace